Welcome to Nevelos Trading. Tonight, October 25, we are going to make our outlook for tomorrow, October 26, of what we assume is going to happen and how this week might most likely close. We take two sectors into a specific view, technology and energy. Starting out with energy, we picked up the QQQs, which contains basically most of the technology companies and we want to look specifically at today's candle. When you see we have here a border lined up representing support but we took a new low and so within that we'll have that defined segment to look at for tomorrow the highs and lows will be critical. We have a signal on here that tells us buy if the price surpasses the high because then there might be a strong push upwards uh, uh, where first resistance is going to be right here at 65.92 and then the second resistance level is going to come in at 66.50 about right up here. Yeah? So that's, that's what we need to look at if we find strengths in technology. Yeah? But we have the second time a signal where our indicators tell us a lot of exchange on a low price level took place, it's slightly on higher volume and with that some people surely sold and others bought but there must be a reason behind those who bought into the QQQs assuming they go up and within that we have some underlying pressure. It might be short term but there is some underlying pressure to the upside for tomorrow. Just a little introduction if you're not familiar with how our signals work. We spell out a price threshold like here, 66, 67, sorry, or 4. We want to go short. When that price threshold was cut out, which happened here the next day, then we trade, trade to the downside. We take the minimum one speed unit that was 88 cents and short the market, take our profit, and then we move on. Yeah, the same worked here when we look at that representation to the upside, the same here. But on that day, we had the suggestion trade to the upside and it most likely was not taken out the high of that day. And if it was, we were sweating a little because then it took three days if we ended up here to make our potential profit because we knew that right up there sits a very big line of resistance where the price might bounce and that's what it did. That's what we put all on the charts for you. If you want to learn that, check us out at nevelostrading.com. There we explain to you how we trade this and uh, we teach you in mentorship classes so that you can do it on your own computer and totally on your own. So from here we want to go to technology. For the energy sector, we take the XLE, yeah, the spider for the energy sector and we look at our most recent signal that told us here trade to the downside if the low of that candle is taken out and indeed that right happened on a day after we got the signal and since here we should have been in the trade being short right now we saw a first potential reversal sign here but it didn't take place because the high of the candle wasn't taken out and at the moment we are basically settling somewhere in between that high and low or resistance and support which is lined up between uh, $71.11 and uh, $72.29 yeah, right here so that's that's the area where this is critical as long as we stay in here not too much will happen to the energy stocks when we break out of that, then we should be long and take the opportunity of an uprun. But we will we'll see if that happens on Friday or if we challenge the high or the low by next week. So what do we know now? Yeah, We have opportunities if the thresholds of those candles get taken out by tomorrow's trade. Because then a lot of institutions will be ready to invest in the market. If the lows get taken out like today, we might see further weakness coming through and then we rather be short than long. So as long as we don't have a clear-cut uh, trade proposal by our software, 
we basically day trade the opportunities and for example within here would trade on uh, hourly charts rather than on uh, daily charts and you see how our software is painting us nice hourly opportunities and when those opportunities kick in there here it would be for 38 cents a share so we would take a, a position basically not with the stock but with an option trade it for the 38 cents uh, it would give us maybe a return of 12 13 cents but that's a nice return for a little investment to be made in those stocks and take a look with us uh, of how precise our indicators were giving us great opportunities here yeah that was a nice opportunity this one did not come through because the price didn't cut out that high but here on the day prior there was an opportunity this one did not come forward and so this is how we can trade with Nevalus trading in all kind of situations and in all kind of time frames again when you want to learn that check us out at nevalustrading.com and use the opportunity because currently we offer even private consultancy it's not just a webinar where you are one of a big group but if you want to learn the trading system in detail check us out or click also on our button value yeah that's you find that on the front page if you scroll down a little then you see how productive our system can be is there an investment involved from your side definitely because which production tool can be given away for free yeah so looking forward to hearing back from you Take the opportunity for private consultancy, which we are right now offering. And have a good and successful trading day.